What is up everybody? This is Stock Market Education and today we're going to be talking about Uber and whether or not it's a buy. Let's get into it. We can see that Uber is currently trading at about $28 a share and they're not profitable so they don't have a PE ratio and their earnings per share is negative $6.81 which is really high and we're going to get into why that is later in this video. Taking a look at their revenue estimates, we can see that their revenue was expected to go from $14.81 billion in 2020 up to $19.6 billion in 2021 for a percentage increase of 32.4%. And if we take a look at their earnings estimates, we can see that they're expected to go from losing $2.38 a share up to losing $1.35 a share, which is better but still negative. Taking a look at their revenues, we can see that Uber went from $3.8 billion worth of revenue in 2016 all the way up to $14.1 billion in 2019 for a percentage increase of 268%. So we can see that there's been a crazy amount of revenue growth for Uber. Looking at their balance sheet, we can see that it says like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. We can also see that it says Uber's cash and cash equivalents went from $4.3 billion all the way up to $11.3 billion for a percentage increase of 158%. And that's even more incredible when you see that they have no current debt on their balance sheet and only have accounts payable of $272 million. And keep in mind that accounts payable only went up 28% during a time when their cash went up 158%. Their total assets went from $15.4 billion all the way up to $31.7 billion, which is amazing when you take into account that their total liabilities decreased from $23.9 billion all the way down to $16.8 billion. Overall, Uber has a very strong balance sheet and more than enough cash to get through the next couple of quarters. If we take a look at their management team ratings, we can see that it says Dara Kaz Rashahi and the Uber leadership team are scored a B out of 181 employees, placing it in the top 25% of companies sized 10,000 plus employees in the US, showing that Uber has an effective leadership and management team. And looking at their CEO's resume, we can see that Dara originally started out as an analyst for an investment firm, then left to go to Expedia where he eventually became CEO for the company. And over here it says, during his tenure as CEO, the gross value of his hotel and other travel bookings more than quadrupled and its pre-tax earnings more than doubled. So Dara has real life experience with taking a company and growing it like crazy, which is what we saw with Expedia and what we've seen with Uber over the past three years. If we look further, we can see that it goes on to say Expedia extended its presence to more than 60 countries and acquired Travelocity, Orbitz, and HomeAway. So when Expedia began to grow, Dara decided to buy up their competition, which is similar to what we're seeing Uber do in late 2019 with their Uber Eats segment. Uber Eats is not a profitable segment of theirs, and their food pickup industry is filled with competitors. So Uber has been selling their Uber Eats business in some parts of the world to more lucrative companies in the space, but in return, Uber Eats receives a stake in their company. That becomes a foundation of strong revenue years into the future, and this is a brilliant business play because it allows them to alleviate expenses while increasing revenue at the same time and with food delivery industry surging over the past couple of months we could be seeing the entire restaurant landscape changing where people would rather get food delivered to them instead of sitting in a restaurant 2020 was supposed to be the year where Uber went from losing money to making money because they were changing their objectives from increasing market share as much as possible to now restructuring their costs to become profitable. However, Uber's plan to become profitable will be delayed because of you know what. And also, let's talk about Dara's family for a moment. One of his brothers is a managing director for an investment bank, and he has a few cousins who are executives for Google. 
His cousin Amir works for Intel after he sold his artificial intelligence company to them for $400 million. His twin cousin sold their startup company to MySpace in 2009 for $20 million. And one of his uncles is a billionaire from selling the company Future Shop to Best Buy, as well as creating a holdings company that licenses pharmaceuticals and music. So it's pretty clear that Dara's family has been massively successful and this gives Uber access to all these successful business minds that no other company in the space has, which in my opinion gives the company an even stronger moat compared to their competitors. When we take a look at Dara's family of business masterminds and his impressive resume along with their average management team rating and their solid balance sheet and their 268% revenue increase in four years, and their 32% projected revenue increase for 2021, and the changes we're seeing in the restaurant landscape, Uber has put themselves in a dominant position in the industry. Uber is one of my biggest positions. I don't think I'm gonna put any more money into Uber because I don't want my portfolio to get too weighted into that stock. However, they're going to produce a profit in the future. There's no question about that. But now with everything going on, it created uncertainty as to when Uber will become profitable. Thank you guys for watching the video. Click the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.